Jesus is offering salvation, but you must be willing to get off the broad way that leads to destruction. And you've got to be willing to humble yourself and get on the narrow way that leads to life. And uh, the broad way that leads to destruction is in the weed bag. You got men out here, they want to get high. They want to get smoke weed. And they think it's okay. And God wants you to know that it's not okay. That you're in sin. And that if you die like that, sir, you're going to go to hell. And God doesn't want you to go to hell. But you go to hell because you reject God. You have to come to the Lord. You too, sir, stick in the middle finger. You're going to stand before God. And there won't be no middle fingers stuck on the day of judgment. You have to be willing to humble yourself and come to the Lord Jesus Christ and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation. If not, you're going to go to hell. And sir, God can get that anger out your heart, but you got to be willing to come to the Lord. You angry because you've been broken? You've been rejected in your life? People that were supposed to love you hurt you. God didn't hurt you. You don't have to be angry with God. You can come to the Lord and you can lay hold of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. But you want to go on in your rebellion. You want to keep drinking your alcohol. You want to keep living in the darkness. And because of that, God wants you to know that you're going to go to hell. Yeah, you spit at the preaching of the Bible. I saw that earlier, sir. You spit at us like you were spitting at God. And that's what the world does. The world spits at God when God offers his love to them. God offers his love to you, sir, but you spit at God's love. Therefore, you are going to have your part in the lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone if you do not repent. For God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge the world in righteousness through his son, Jesus Christ. For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God and we will all give an account for our lives. We will give an account for the deeds done in the body, whether they are good or whether they are evil. And uh, knowing the terror of the Lord, we are out here to tell you to repent, to turn to God, to stop living in rebellion, to humble yourself because death is coming. The clock is ticking down, young men. And you're not promised a long life. Young men die at a young age. You need to think about your soul, sir. Because it's appointed once for man to die. And then after that comes the judgment of God. It is appointed once for men to die. And then after that comes the judgment. And all the money in your bank account, sir, it won't save you on the day of judgment. You might have that money in your bank account. You might have a nice car, sir. But that's not going to save you. You're going to go to hell if you don't come to God. God put me right here to tell you that. Repent. Get right with God. If not, you're going to die in your sin and you're going to bust hell wide open. You're going to face the judgment for your rebellion if you do not repent. Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, you're going to perish. That means you're going to go to hell. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent because judgment day is coming. Repent because you don't have much time to live. Repent and come to God while you still hear the preaching of God's word. Repent and do not harden your heart when you hear the preaching of God's word out here in the streets. Because there are people in hell right now that are weeping and wailing and they are gnashing their teeth hoping for another chance, but they are in hell. And uh, there's no forgiveness in hell. There's no second chances in hell. While you hear the preaching of God's word being preached out here in the streets, get right with God so you don't go to hell.